Welcome to the Hitachi ID Systems demo series featuring Hitachi ID Bravura Identity. This video will demonstrate the steps required to create a new Active Directory Global Security User Group in Bravura Identity. Permitted users require the ability to create new groups, for example, on AD domains or LDAP directories. With Hitachi ID Bravura Identity, users with appropriate product privileges can create groups and populate their membership. Morris works in the finance department. There is some new software training coming up for his employees and he needs to create a new AD group that will be used to provide access to the training. I'll be using the Hitachi ID demo environment with Bravura Identity to demonstrate how Morris can request a new group. Abby from HR will approve the request. I'll begin by logging into Bravura Identity as Morris. In this demo environment, I can bypass authentication. From Morris's home page, under Resources, he clicks Groups. Membership in the Group Create Users user class allows users to create groups on targets. Since the members of this user class in this configuration include anyone from the Group Creators AD group and Morris is a member of that AD group, he is able to create a group by clicking the Create button. This launches the Group Create predefined request wizard, which will prompt for required information. First is the Group ID. He'll call this new group Financial Software Training and provide a similar group description. For the target system, he wants to create this group on the Active Directory target. For the organizational unit, he specifies the Training Groups OU. This will be a global security group type. Morris enters his email address for the group. And any additional notes can be added here. Then he clicks Next. Morris will be the group owner. He clicks Next to continue and skips Owner Groups. Next, Morris adds the members that require the training to the group by searching for and selecting them. Membership for some users will expire at the end of next month. Morris has three members selected and two have expiry dates. He clicks Next. He won't specify any child groups or parent groups for this example. Scrolling down in the right panel, Morris can add any notes needed about this request. And now he's ready to submit the request. When the success notification appears, Morris clicks View Request to review his request details. Here we can see that this type of request requires authorization. And here is the authorizer. Next, I'll log in to Bravura Identity as Abby to approve the request. We can see that Abby has a request awaiting her approval. She'll click the link and select Morris's request to create a new group. Here, Abby reviews the details of the request and then, to give it the go-ahead, clicks the Approve Action link, adds any comments if desired, and then clicks the Approve button. The request status now shows Approved Performing Requested Operations. Let's jump back to Morris's view. Clicking Refresh, we can see that his request status has now been updated to Processed. Clicking on the Request ID provides additional details. Here we see that the new group was successfully added, the group was assigned to three Active Directory accounts, and the specified group owner was added. Also, 
by moving down to Requested Attributes. We can confirm that a membership expiry was specified for both Dino and Christie. Finally, let's verify the group addition was completed correctly in Active Directory. I'll open Active Directory Users and Computers and navigate to the training OU where Morris created the Financial Software Training Group. The new group has been created. Opening the group to take a closer look, we can see the group name and description, the group email, and the group scope and type. On the Members tab, here are the three members that were specified in the request. This concludes our demonstration of creating a new group using Hitachi ID Brevera Identity. Thanks for tuning in. Hitachi ID offers a range of demonstration and training options. Click the links in the description below to watch more demo videos or to register for training. Visit our website to learn more.